The Mega TDR2050 is a dual-channel, dual-trace TDR with a high-resolution color screen for locating faults on paired metallic cables. The instrument has CAT4 600V input protection built in, step and pulse TDR options to see both near and far-end faults, trace tagging for recording circuit ID, distance-dependent gain to minimize signal attenuation, a trace-hold feature for instant trace comparison, Auto find and find end functions, allowing speedy fault identification. The unit has many features which offer benefit to the user in everyday use. I'm going to demonstrate some of these in this, the first in a series of how-to video guides for TDR 2050. Connection is via two pairs of 4mm jack sockets, suitable for standard safety fuse test leads. A protection slide and cover system reveals the charger and USB download sockets. The right hand buttons let you move around the screen and select options. And the soft keys have different purposes depending on the mode or function chosen. So let's turn the unit on and begin a test. Note the large high definition color display. Next we insert the test leads. And then we connect to the cable we want to test. Now we select the right mode for our test using the Mode button. Here we can choose modes for full screen or split screen. And we can examine crosstalk, view memorized traces, or set up for an intermittent fault test. We have a single cable to test, so we'll choose a single input mode. Using the navigation buttons to navigate left, right, up and down, we highlight T1 from the full screen trace mode section. The OK button is used to select the highlighted action or to accept entered text or information. There is an event to examine on the live trace towards the near end, but we need to select a more suitable range for our cable. Range is immediately changeable, while the other settings can be altered using the relevant selection. Up and down buttons adjust the value for the selected parameter. We have around 100 meters of cable, so we need to decrease the range. The event is now more observable, but can be modified further if required by adjusting the other settings. To change other parameters, access the settings bar by pressing the soft key. The indicator shows which soft key to press. In auto operation, only the VOP and range are available to edit. The other settings are automatically chosen for you. In manual operation, all of the settings become changeable. Left and right navigation buttons highlight a specific parameter. The back button can be used at any time to return to the previous screen. Menu icons identify individual functions or group of functions. For those who like a crib sheet, we supply a full list of icons and functions on the printed function sheet. We need to select the Trace Functions menu. Here we can see a list of functions available for our chosen settings. Find End automatically determines the end of the cable, useful for fast measurement of cable length. Auto Find allows us to jump directly to a detected event. An event has been detected and a marker placed at this point. The distance is shown at the top of the marker. Pressing the Find Next soft key automatically positions the cursor at the next event. Now let's return to the main screen, where we can easily measure the distance between two events. TDR2050 has two cursors, which can be positioned at different events on the trace, giving the distance. The C1, C2 soft key toggles the active cursor, which changes to a dotted line. Press the left and right navigation buttons to move the selected cursor. For extended distances, hold the navigation button down. Its travel will accelerate after a second or two. Release the navigation button to stop cursor movement. We position cursor 1 at the start of the first event, and cursor 2 at the start of the second. A delta measurement shows the distance between the events. We hope that this quick introduction to TDR2050 operation has been useful and allows you to get started on your testing and fault finding. There are some useful printed documents in the box and many more on the support CD. 
Watch out for other videos in this series. Thank you for watching.